very hard on the other sibling. I, mean, I have a daughter who's two years younger than Julius. And it was, I can see now that all the focus of the family, the energy was always on the child with difficulties. And she was sort of always coming second best. But now that she's 19, she's only 20, I can see the benefits of that in a way. She's amazingly independent. She's very compassionate, but she's really strong. And, and, and I, I read a report saying that the siblings of special needs children grow up to be the most well-rounded um, and grounded adults because, you know, they, they, they've had to, A, fend for themselves a bit and also understand that the world doesn't revolve around them. But it does put a lot of pressure on the family at the time. You know? And, of course, we know that families with special needs children, divorce rate, depression rate, unemployment rate is, is so much higher than in an average family. So, yeah, there's a lot of, and, you know, on top of that, while you, you're struggling to keep your family buoyant, you've got all, you're fighting the education department and you're fighting the council to get funding and it's, it really is totally exhausting.